Hello, welcome, Devil Sniper here, and this is episode number six of our career mode with Bahia. As you know, this is a journeyman career mode. We are currently in the Brazilian League, and I just want to say thank you for absolutely blowing my mind. In episode number four, I've done something I don't normally do, which is ask for an X amount of likes to be able to bring to you a double upload. And I thought 120 likes would be an extremely huge amount, but no, you guys went and smashed it by a ridiculous ridiculous amount last time i looked it was nearing 190 likes which is just unfathomable it's just absolutely fantastic so i hope you are enjoying double upload sunday if you haven't seen episode number five just go back and have a quick look at episode number five a great episode as we can see the very 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 sloppy goal oh my days that is something that is troubling us at this moment in time within this career our inability to defend. Going forward, on the other hand, we are we're playing really well going forward. You know, we are trying to dictate the pace of the game. Try and, you know, increase the tempo at the right time. Try and, you know, just generally play good football. But at this moment, time is just not coming off for us. And as you can see, wasted opportunities. Wasted opportunities. Gifts of opportunities. We're not taking them. A simple pullback there from Gabriel for Wallace would have been a simple goal. But no, coming into half time, we can see a second sloppy goal, which is just not acceptable. Absolutely not acceptable. We really have got to look at our defensive play. We've got to look at the way we're playing defensively. We've got to, to analyze everything because we're, we're conceding sloppy goals. And at this moment of time, it's costing us sloppy points where we should be gaining points, winning games, or even drawing games. We're giving away simple defeats and it's just not acceptable. As you can see, a vine with a simple pass to his feet, he just lets it go. It really just is not ex acceptable. I'm happy with the boys' fitness level. I've got them to a very, very good standard of fitness. As you can see, they're definitely full of life. They're running around, but they're chasing the ball. Vasco da Gama are absolutely outplaying us. We are literally a beaten dog. It is absolutely horrific. It was not the nicest game. We were hoping for a little bit of revenge on Vasco da Gama from the cup game, but unfortunately, not meant to be. Not meant to be by any stretch of the imagination. Diving in on a player, gifting him an opportunity to cross the ball. Thankfully, we defend it. With some ability for once. Freeing up Wallace, but the referee decides that is enough. He's seen enough. He blows the full-time whistle. And unfortunately slump to a 2-0 defeat. Which is not acceptable. Two defeats in the last three games. We lost 2-0 to Portuguesa. And we suffer a 2-0 defeat to Vasco da Gama. But Threddy in a selection dilemma. The, the Brazilian media are highlighting certain aspects of our players. They feel that Freddy is not playing very well. Personally, I feel Freddy's playing very well. He's just not getting the break of the ball at this moment in time. So he has nothing to worry about. He's a good lad. He's a good player. Wallace, on the other hand, he's just getting better and better and better. And he's making himself so important to the team. It is unbelievable. He really is, at this moment in time, our outstanding player. He really, really is. He just absolutely sensational. I cannot speak highly enough of this lad. His work ethic is absolutely fantastic. And it's nice to see the media pick up on me in a positive light. Yes, it is. Energy is the key, the key to its success. And enthusiasm. We love a bit of enthusiasm to boot. So hopefully we will uh, turn things around because we need to soon. Otherwise it could be a little bit daunting. But as you may have picked up in, the, uh, in episode number three, I said some naughty words to a TV station that got back to the Brazilian FA. And uh, as I stated in episode number five, I will have a hearing coming up. Hence why I was unable to go to this game. I was in transit to my FA hearing, the Brazilian FA hearing, to see what sort of, uh, well, if I was going to be fined, banned, and generally to see what happened. Which gave me a good amount of time to put together a portfolio for a squad report and to show you our new defending video, which we uh, we have we have built. We built a specific training camp, as you know, and we're uh, investing in the lads investing in training methods and hopefully they will pay off. But as you can see, the boys were struggling until Wallison delivered an 86-minute winner to give us a 2-1 victory and get us back on track. So, without further ado, let's have a bit of a squad report. Let's see how the lads are doing. I've got to say, overall, what's our biggest problems? Defence. Our defence at times is atrocious. We do lack pace in defence. We do lack defenders with a little bit of agility, uh, balance. But, you know, they're big lads. They're very powerful lads. Uh, that being aside, you know, the rest of the team is playing really well. I'm really happy with, with uh, Rafael Marinda. He's playing so, so well. Very, very happy to have him at the club. 
He's been playing really well. Same with Freddie. You know, he's getting a lot of stick in the media, and he shouldn't really because he's playing really well. He's 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 not the quickest in the world, but he's a solid player, and I've got to say he's a very tricky little player. Gabriel has been absolutely fantastic in the cam position for us this so far this season. Really enjoying using him and having him at the club. Same with William. He's been fantastic starting to come through, but Wallison by far is the standout player. Six goals in seven league appearances, and obviously one goal in two cup games. Seven goals in nine games for the club so far. Sao Paulo must be sitting there thinking, why did we let him go? Why did we let him go out on loan? Hopefully they won't recall him because he is he is playing some bloody good football this moment in time. And he really is keeping us out of relegation at this moment in time. So, as I was saying, we're going to talk about defending. And I want to highlight some of the, some of the procedures we go through as a club to try and increase our, our players' ability to defend. Now, this is a little training circus a square that's set up to improve the angle of attack for a sliding tackle, to enable our centre-backs to read a tackle better when they're coming in on the player. As you can see, Titi is fantastic at doing this. He really is quality. may not have the pace, but the boy can tackle like an absolute gem. And we do do it with CDMs. We've got two CDMs here working on... A 2v2, simple 2v2 defending mechanism, and it works perfectly. It encourages the boys to read the game, have to use communication. Better communication means they get on better together. The more they get on, the better the boys play. And then we also have one-on-one. -on -one. This is Rafael Marinda. He's doing a nice one-on-one, -on -one showing and demonstrating how to read, when to commit the challenge, and how to commit the challenge. It's fantastic. The boys are taken to the new... Training styles very, very well. These are very European training styles that I've brought in from my time at West Ham under John Locke and from my time at Real Madrid. So uh, we not only do we invest in them, we make sure that we bring the best tacticians in that, the, that we can afford at this moment in time, which is uh, pretty much just me. But hey-ho, it's better than nothing. As you can see from the league table, seven games in, three wins, two draws, two losses. Really just is not acceptable. Uh, just not acceptable by any stretch of the imagination. But hopefully the boys will do the business for us. The game starts off at a nice sprightly pace, which we really do like. We like a game with a bit of tempo. They break down the left-hand side. They cut inside. Great ball. Poor defending, though. Something we've been just working on. And it goes against us, which is a great shame. A good goal there from William, number 25, for our opponents. But it was devastating to concede a goal when you've just been working on on defending areas and how to defend, and uh, we can see the sloppy header. So perhaps we need to pay more attention to headers from crosses, something that we might work on. But fantastic play from the lads. You know, they knock the ball around so well, it frustrates me at times. Look at Freddie playing beautiful football, breaking inside, speeding it up, pulls the ball back, and thankfully, Wallison is there after 13 minutes to score his seventh league goal of the season to make it. 1-1 one, one, and deservedly 1-1. One, one. We needed that goal big time because they were starting to get on top of us, starting to overwhelm us in midfield. We got the counter-attack. We got the breakaway. Freddie done the business. And speaking of Freddie, his counterpart, William, on the opposite side, left-hand side, swings in a beautiful ball. And Wallison stumbles and then regains his, his stature and just slots the ball home after 28 minutes. That is an absolute world-class goal. Absolutely a world-class goal. Ball over the top into Gabriel. Takes the first touch. Keeper comes out. Sives him down. And the referee awards the penalty. And I totally have to agree. It was a fantastic piece of play there by Gabriel. The, the keeper did commit. And then the referee decided that it was a professional foul and sent him off. I do feel that was a little bit harsh. A yellow card, I feel, would have been perfectly okay but the referee disagreed and felt that it should have been a red card I'm not sure but I'm, it looked like the keeper got a touch on that I still can't see from that replay but uh, I do feel that it should have been a yellow card and not a red card so our opponents were not only down to 10 men but they just had their goalkeeper sent off which from, uh, from my point of view was fantastic absolutely fantastic they took off their talisman which was their captain they took off their leader the leader of men to bring on a goalkeeper and it was uh, it was a bit of a nerve-wracking moment because Freddie said he wanted to take the first penalty. If we got a penalty, he said he wanted to take it and just you know prove to the media that he still has it, that he still got it in his locker and he can do it. So there was a lot resting on Freddie's shoulders as he stood stood up to take the penalty, but he slotted it away like an absolute genius, absolute confidence, and an absolute audacious goal. Absolutely audacious. We go in at half time, winning, cruising. 3-1. Wallison with two absolutely sublime goals and Freddie with a point to prove and scoring a penalty which was 
beautiful. Madison on the right-hand side, knocking the ball into Gabriel. Everything goes through Gabriel for us. Marinda plays the ball into Freddie. Freddie puts it onto his left foot. Great save, but look at Marinda following up in the 58th minute to make it 4-1 to Bahia. And the boys are clicking. The boys are playing with such confidence. Look at the way they're defending, chasing down every ball. This is the 89th minute, and they're playing as if it's the first minute. Such is the fitness levels. Gabriel with the ball, plays it through to Wallison. Wallison for his hat-trick. Come on, Wallison. What a goal after 90 minutes. Ninth goal of the season. Absolutely fantastic and an absolutely sublime finish by the man in form. He is oh, sensational. Absolutely sensational. The referee decides he had seen enough. Blows the full-time whistle. Bahia 5. I can't pronounce our opponents. I'm going to call them PP1. Absolutely blew them the fuck away. Hope you enjoyed that, guys, and I will catch you next time.